but like I started diving into a little bit of like history, like just some YouTube videos, like some long, like kind of documentaries type stuff, learning a little bit like of um, Alexander the Great. I woke up the other morning and watched like an hour long documentary about Alexander the Great and his like t- his reign of the Persian Empire. And bro, I'm telling you, someone that was like not like a because like you learn all that stuff in middle school and high school and stuff like that. But bro. You can't even un you can't even wrap your mind about like what they're actually like, your little 12, 14 year old brain has no idea like what this teacher is talking about. The teacher's all enthusiastic, like, oh, and Louis the Sixteenth was the king and he had to reassure the French citizens. And y- your 14 year old brain is like, bro, the girl in front of me smells so good today, bro. I'm gonna post a TBH today. And bro, I hope she likes it so I can give her, to be honest, like you were, smelled really good and you were cute today in class. Oh, bro. Like that's what you're thinking. You're not thinking about what the hell this teacher is saying. Like shut the hell up, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to text this. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to slide in this girl's DMs later today. You know, that's what our 14 year old brains are thinking about. You know, how can we impress our friends? Not who the hell is Alexander the Great. So I'm 20 years old, sitting in my room, nine in the morning, watching how Alexander the Great took over the Persian empire and bro, it is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Cause like a little bit like Alexander the great, like he sounds like a guy from movie. Oh yeah. He's the guy from all the movies and shit. (laughs) That's what my little brain was just like, could, could think of. That's what my little brain could like, could grasp at that time. You know, it's just crazy. And then like yet yesterday, I guess, I guess you could say I wanted to learn some of that stuff. You know, it's, it's a real rabbit hole. I was learning a little bit about D-Day just to give myself like, cause like, yeah, D-Day, you know, we invade Normandy, France and stuff like that. We had to take over Hitler, but like what really happened and stuff like that. And then you start learning just a little bit and you're like, oh my God, dude, this is, you could spend your whole life trying to figure this shit out. And then you start putting together like, dude, Hitler was around less than a hundred years ago, bro. That is insane. That is insane. That is insane to think about. We're all like, ah, bro, Hitler, bro. We're never going to go back to a world like that. That was barely 100 years ago. Look at history. Thousands of years, bro. Alexander the Great took over the Persian Empire. Dude, he was 20 years old, right? I'll give you a little backstory. You know, your boy got a little bit of, is becoming a little bit of a history buff. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds like, and bro, uh, dude, like my mind was getting blown. It was like, so Alexander the Great's dad was King Philip of uh, Macedonia, Macedonia. Right. And uh, Aristotle, the one of the most famous philosophers ever, who sounds like, like, all right. So like in my mind, when I'm like before I'm watching all this stuff, like Aristotle to me is like maybe like a Jesus apostle in the Bible, whatever that means, like whatever that means, like that is what he is. Like, I don't know. I, I, that's just what I thought of him, a philosopher. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like, all right. Aristotle is like apparently a real person. Right. He figured out all this crazy shit about like like human happiness. And you're like, Oh dude, I don't think this is made up somewhat. Like my brain was starting to like, Oh bro, these these, like humans were alive back then. So obviously people were, bro, I'm telling you, my mind was getting blown yesterday. I'm, I'm just like, what the, like, bro, I, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm just, I'm so blown away. So I'm 20 years old. Alexander the Great was taught by the best philosopher apparently ever in the world, Aristotle, right? So this young kid, his dad was the king, um, gets taught by Aristotle, takes over, takes o- grows the Macedonian Empire or Macedonian, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, takes over the Persian Empire. This is all around like what, like 300, 400 BC in that, in that like four to 300 BC area. I think it was like what, 330-ish? I think he died 340 maybe, 340 BC or some shit like, dude, that's what I'm crazy. And this is like before Christ. I'm like, is this real, bro? I was like, how do they have all these facts? Yo, I'm telling you, my mind was getting so blown away yesterday, bro. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Science is out here screwing with my head, dog. Like what the I don't even know what to do right now, bro. It's the first 10 minutes of this podcast and I'm blown away. I, dude, I had to tell you guys. Like, and I'm like, for, for like 12 years straight, this kid, Alexander the Great, 20 years old, takes over his dad's reign because his dad, King Philip, died, got murdered or some shit, right? He becomes the king of Macedonia, takes over the Persian Empire. Who's the king of uh, Persia? It was, um, I don't know, King Odysseus or something like that. Something, something like that. One of those names. I'm thinking like all these people are like Greek gods and fake stuff. And like, bro, like, bro, I'm telling you, my mind is getting 
balloon. So now I'm going to have to buy some books, learn about some history, and freaking, dude, take it in. Take it all in, bro. It was freaking fascinating, bro. Like, oh, like, I don't, I, there was just so much stuff. Like, so this kid, Alex, and like the fact that they were, dude, he went to war. First off, first off, let's just, let's just say, bro, he was at war for like 12 years straight. For like 12 years straight, just constantly. I'm, oh, like, and it seemed like they were just hiking through, bro, per, the Persian Empire was huge. It's like modern day Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Syria, like all those like Middle Eastern countries, like parts of India, I believe. And like, bro, they're just walking around. I was like, dude, these are straight countries. They're just walking through with armies, just like, we're going to the next city. And they just throw down and kill everybody at the city. Like, I'm like, my my little skull, my little puny brain, I don't, I just can't handle it. I cannot handle it. I'm like, bro, what is going on right now? Is this true? Are you lying to me, YouTube documentary? I was like, dude, now I got to get these books and I got to get all this stuff. I was like, Oh my God, like, I'm not ready to do this, bro. I can't, I, I can't be diving into all this history, but it was so, it was so fascinating. It was so fascinating. It was like, 